Greetings everyone, and welcome to what I like to call Ingrid's Apothecary. You guys know that I love me some room fragrances because who doesn't like their space to smell good? I know I do, I don't want it to smell like poop. Why is poop such a constant trend in my life? So I've been experimenting with ways to make my own room fragrances without any kind of chemicals, using natural ingredients, and things that are really easily accessible, and it's pretty awesome and great. I really just love making my own fragrances. It's amazing. So I'm gonna be showing you guys three of my favorites, so your space doesn't smell like poop either. We're gonna be making our own heated fragrances. Personally, I think this is a great alternative to candles because you're still gonna get that full room smell, but you don't have to worry about, you know, the toxins that could possibly be emitted from a candle. This first scent is going to be very fresh and invigorating, so I have some lemon, some rosemary, I'm going to add in a little bit of peppermint, maybe something else that's TBD, I don't know. This is how Ingrid's Apothecary works. I have a plan and sometimes you decide to add in a little something extra. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna start off by cutting up some lemon here. This is just a good old lemon. Sharp objects, be safe. The lemon is gonna add a really nice, fresh, citrusy scent that's not gonna be overwhelming. I'm gonna start piling everything into a pot, which could also, you know, maybe be a hat. My head's too big. How sad is that? My head is too big for this pot. Then I'm gonna add in some rosemary, and I, Oh God, I think rosemary actually smells really similar to pine, so it's gonna add this crisp quality to the scent, almost like you're walking through a forest right after it rained, and it's like, oh yeah, that just smells really good. It smells like nature. I'm not gonna worry about breaking off all the little rosemary leaves. I'm just gonna break the sprigs into smaller sprigs and put them in the pot. peppermint oil and I love peppermint oil so this is really gonna add that like pizzazz to the scent because it's gonna brighten everything up. I'm gonna put about like 10 drops of this oil in here. The thing is if you want to add in more oil when you heat it up you realize mm, I want a little bit more oil you can always add it in later. Alright so last minute addition I decided that I'm gonna add in some ylang ylang just because I want to and this just smells really nice. It's not as potent as the peppermint and I think it's really gonna balance everything out. So I'm just putting a few drops of this in. B2 Dubs, if you're wondering where you can get essential oils, they're super easy to find nowadays. You can get them at Whole Foods or you can order them on Amazon and you can pretty much find any essential oil you want, which is awesome. So from here, you just need some purified water. So I'm gonna pour in about eight ounces. This is something that's great to have around if you're gonna be at home like cleaning, hanging out with friends. It's gonna fill up the space, but it's also something that needs to be supervised since it is over the stove. You think we're done? Oh no, we're not. These also make really great gifts, and these are awesome because you can totally tailor the scent to the person that you're giving them to, and they're inexpensive, so they're not gonna cost a ton of money, but they're gonna be full of love and meaning, and that's the important part. Instead of putting the ingredients into a pot, you're just gonna put them straight into a mason jar, give them to your friend, and then they can just dump them into their pot at home, heat them up, good to go. The next scent is gonna be really warm and cozy. So think autumn, maybe, you know, kind of like the holidays. I'm going to start off by cutting up an apple. So these are great because you don't have to worry about, you know, making the cuts perfect or anything like that. You really just have to hack up the apple. Next, I have a grapefruit here, but you can also use an orange. It's completely up to you. Grapefruit adds, um, a lighter, 
crispness. So an orange is gonna be, you know, very sweet and citrusy, but I love, I love this. I can already smell the grapefruit. Yeah, it's very light and refreshing. So I think it's gonna balance everything out. Now I'm gonna add in some cinnamon and this is what's going to make it really warm and cozy feeling. I've actually been inspired specifically by cinnamon sticks because my mom around the holidays used to boil cinnamon sticks in a pot over the stove, sometimes with a little bit of clove and it would just make the entire house smell so, so good. have some orange oil here and because we have the grapefruit I think the orange oil is gonna pair really nicely with it the citrus just brings this fresh brightness to the warmth of the cinnamon and oh my god I can already smell it But certainly not least, we are gonna be making some room spray slash linen spray. This one in particular is going to be a lavender room spray. So it's gonna be very calming and soothing and relaxing. I got some good old baking soda here, nothing fancy about it. Baking soda is great for cleaning, it gets rid of odors, and the best part is it doesn't cover odors up. It really helps neutralize them. I'm gonna use about a teaspoon of baking soda and I'm just mixing it in a glass. Then I'm gonna pour in my purified water. And it is important to use purified water because if you're gonna be spraying this around, you don't want like the hard minerals that are found in water, especially if you live in Southern California, the water here is really, really hard. I have lavender oil here, which is one of my favorites because it's really soothing and calming. This is something great, especially for the bedroom when you're getting ready to go to sleep. So I'm gonna put about 10 drops of this in here. You can add more or less depending on how potent you want it to be. Well, it's that time again. Time to take a whisk. I just have a little whisk here. You can use a spoon, but I like this whisk. So that's it, the lid just goes on my little spray bottle here. I put a label on this so I know what's inside because sometimes if you make something and then it's sitting around, you may not remember what exactly it is. What's great about this is that it's not just a room spray. You can also use this on your towels, on your linens, on your clothing, and it's gonna get rid of any odors and leave behind a really soft, fragrant lavender scent. I think this is a great alternative to things like Febreze that are filled with God knows what, so many chemicals. And this has literally three ingredients in it. Plus you can customize your scents and make your room or your clothing or your bed smell however you want it to smell. That's gonna be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed these different fragrances. And if you make any of them yourself or you make your own, I wanna see your photos on Twitter and Instagram. So make sure you tag me. My stomach is growling right now, so I should probably go eat some lunch. But make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more of my videos and lots of shoulder dancing in the future. I mean, shoulder dancing is just my thing. Oh my God, kitten kneading though. That's my signature dance move. I'll see you guys later. Love you, peace out.